Well, we hope you enjoyed your holiday, 4th of July. Happy birthday, America. Uh, if you notice, our content's a little light this week. We're on vacation, obviously. Uh, we needed to take a little rest. This whole move, uh, new studio, new home, took a lot out of us. And we needed a little time to ourselves. Not too much, just a couple of days. So we took a long weekend. Uh, we did put up a couple of videos, so do check those out. Uh, some interesting um, content on there. We have some New York stuff. And, uh, of course, this particular video from streaming. Uh, you're familiar with Tubi TV. Well, Tubi has moved up a bit. And some of the experts are saying that, you know, it's, they're considering it the fifth largest streamer now uh, throughout because... They've just entered uh, into a new area, and that's the United Kingdom. And uh, basically, you, if for my viewers out there in the UK, you should be able to get to be now. It's still it's still free. Yeah, even for you guys in the UK, it is free. Don't be afraid to sign up for it because there's a lot of great content on this channel, and we've discussed it before. And if you, those of you out there, even in the US, if you haven't uh, take, taking part on this, today's the day to do it. I mean, technically you don't have to sign up, but the thing about it is, if you want to save your place, you know, if you're watching something, you want to save your place and stuff like that, it's best to sign up. Um, you know, because there, there's so much wonderful content in there. I mean, some of it's good, some of it's bad, some of it's ugly, you know, but it's a good mixture of throughout the streaming world, and you'll be surprised what's on that streaming site. But let's read this off of Variety, and this is from from the uh, beginning of the month. Tubi officially launches in the United Kingdom, bringing movie library 10 times bigger than local networks and, and including its drag queen vampire horror. Tubi has officially launched in the UK, marketing the most significant overseas expansion for free ad-supported streaming service. Blood, 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 blood. We are butter. The Fox-owned AVOD platform is heading across the Atlantic with more than 20,000 movies and TV episodes on demand, featuring content from the likes of Disney, Lionsgate, NBC Universal, and Sony Pictures, as well as its slate of Tubi originals. Outside North America, this is a big one, Tubi CEO Anjan Su told Variety ahead of its launch. The expansion, which has been touted last year when it it hired the UK-based ex-Endeavor uh, executive David Salmon as head of the international, comes at a time of impressive audience figures with now to be the now the fastest-growing streaming service. In May, it, it had the most watched month ever, according to Nielsen's, up to 46% on a year earlier, with an average audience of one million viewers edging out disney plus take that disney comfortably beating peacock max paramount plus and topping fellow streamers uh the roku channel and pluto tv now i'm afraid there's going to have to be a certain amount of violence <laughs> but at least we know it's all in a good cause it now sits behind only youtube viewers in the free ad-supported streaming world. According to Sud, the UK market where the public service broadcasters such as the BBC and ITV dominate the free streaming space is one where certain audiences, particularly young and multicultural audiences, have been underserved by a traditional ecosystem looking to cater to as many people it can at once. Similar to the US, there's been a natural need to revert to the medium to focus on mass appeal. And that's the very, very hard when you have such a diverse melting pot of the, of a country with incredible diverse tastes and perspectives, she said. With that in mind, Sud said, the UK launch would feature a movie collection 10 times bigger than any other broadcasters 
including more than 100 premium Bollywood titles, more than 100 premium Nollywood titles, uh, and titles and a rich catalog in art house. But then it will also lean into the weird, wonderful, and colorful content that it has done well for the platform in the U.S., especially from the growing library of Tubi Originals, Sud touted. Slay, a drag queen vampire horror, features and its X-rated series House of Heat, in which a group of OnlyFans creators move into together uh, to grow each other's online business. Outside the U.S., Tubi has spent so much uh in the last decade, launching in Canada, Mexico, Australia, New Zealand, Costa Rica, Ecuador, El Salvador, Guatemala, and Panama. The expansion actually marks the return for Tubi in the UK, with the platform having pulled out of the territory and the rest of Europe in 2018 due to the EU's strict general data protection regulation rules. Having since left the EU, the GDPR rules no longer apply in the UK. There have have certainly been attempts to dip our toe in the UK in the past, but we haven't ever in a committed international full way officially launched, said Sud. And as you would imagine, we have done a ton of work to ensure that we are in compliance with all regulations, including the GDPR. And most importantly, we have a real robust offering that we think is needed so our first official attempt and i think it will be successful to support its uk launch tubi is rolling out an ad campaign later in july that takes aim at perceived snobbery in the entertainment world with posters and commercials encouraging people to to watch what you actually want to watch rather than more highbrow content they believe they should be watching now remember in the uk you know you have to have a tv license and all this But see, this is going to break barriers to the situation, especially now the way BBC ITV content has been lately, especially the BBC alone. You know, we've seen seen the demise of Doctor Who. I mean, total, utter failure in itself and many other shows that have been on on that network. I mean, their own news itself, you know, it's not doing well in in this present day. Um, I mean, you have situations where... People are just, you know, just canceling their licenses. Remember, there's a difference. For those of you in the U.S. that don't realize this, in order to have a television in the United Kingdom, you have to pay a license. Not cable. You have to pay a license to have TV. And, of course, they have a TV police that if you don't pay it, they will come after you. I mean, literally, there are videos out there where they try to sneak into your home, try to go through the window, mailbox, whatever they can to figure out if you actually are are watching tv without a license goes to show you you know some of some of a lot of the freedoms that we have here in the united states other places don't share especially with television these are the things they want to push here you know they want to control the internet you know make it hard for you to you know get on the internet it's not to protect the children it's to control the information itself and that's what the BBC is doing over, over on the other side with the United Kingdom. But see, now Tubi's going to get in there. It's a lot of great programming. Very good programming on there. They even have British shows. There are British shows available on there uh, constantly. And they are expanding. There's more to come. As you can see, how many countries they're in now. They have all variations of shows, uh, movies, specials, educational um and it just keeps growing every day i mean it, they just beat out disney as far as a viewership think about that for a minute they're on their way i mean they're, they're being considered now they're in the top five as far as streamers go so tell me in the comments below your thoughts about this those of you in the uk hey sound i want to you know shout out to you guys let us know how do you feel about that are you already on watching tubi or uh, are you planning to now now that you hear this So let me know in the comments below. And those of you around the world do also chime in on it. Do you have Tubi in your territory? Let me know how you feel about it. So remember, like, share this video. And hopefully today's the day I've earned your subscription. So until next time, 
Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for the support. And bye bye now. Thanks for watching, commenting, and sharing this video. And if you haven't yet, please subscribe as this helps the reach of this channel. Finally, as a content viewer, you have the ability to help support this channel as new internet laws around the world will diminish our reach and affect our sponsors. If you choose to help, there are two ways listed in the description below. The first link will lead you to a pay site where you can make a monetary donation. The second will lead you to our gear shop where you can buy shirts, mugs, and other gear. Discounts will be listed on the site. Once again, thank you for watching and your support.